Hi everyone. So in this video, uh, I'm going to show you how to install a free VMware Workstation Player. So uh, basically, uh, we have two options uh, for free VMware. One is um, from PM and VMware, and second one is from um, Oracle VirtualBox. So there are so many limitations in terms of uh, the accessibility and uh, uh, other other stuff which are available on both products, but somehow. Uh, uh, which I feel that uh, uh, virtual box is something which is like the resolution is not uh, that correct and you'll face a lot of problem in terms of uh, the exact resolution of the VM machine uh, in virtual box so uh, recently VMware uh, has uh, provided a free community edition to everyone where you can install it for the non-commercial use so in this video I'm gonna show you how to install uh, uh, that vmware okay uh, once you go to the google.com right uh, here you can type vmware um, workstation player right so visit this website and the website name is www.vmware.com this is the official website don't go any other third party otherwise uh, your system will be infected so under this you can you have two options basically so one is for window and second one is for linux um, the free version is uh, available for non-commercial use only for in personal and obviously for home use and uh, for commercial and uh, organizations it will require a license so that will be available on the virtual uh, on, on uh, once you install it I'm gonna install it so click on yes it may take some time for the initialization yeah click on next so all the default option I am selecting uh, I'm just uh, I'm selecting the enhanced keyboard drivers as well that will be helpful because I have checked and that is very helpful uh, in terms of uh, easability installation will take um, this will be very easy so uh, the installation will take less time this installation is taking some time It will install in few minutes. So comparatively, uh, I have feel uh, that uh, the VMware is more comfortable uh, other than VirtualBox. It has been completed. I'm just clicking on finish. I don't want to restart it as of now. So going to open it. So opening the software okay so here you have to select use VMware workstation 60 player for free for not commercial use so I don't need it for the commercial one so non commercial will be free so you just click the continue and finish your VM is ready to uh, use now you can create uh, any any machine on that so let me start with the new machine uh, create a new virtual machine okay so I had the ISO image uh, which I am going to mount here so basically uh, I have a different drive so let me select it I have these ISO as well so I need Windows 10 okay on this machine or I can go ahead with Windows 11 as well but uh, as my base operating system on this machine is Windows 11, so I don't need it for basically. So I'm going ahead with uh, Windows 10, that's a older version, and I want to test other things uh, with the same. Click on next. If you want, uh, you can uh, put the product key. I don't need it, so basically, that will be a educational purpose only. So uh, I'm going into to with, without a product key. So virtual machine name will be Windows 10. That's it. I don't want to change it or uh, th th that would be the default name. Okay. Uh, 
next step is uh, as per your requirement and uh, so what i'm going to do i'm creating the vm on a different drive so that uh, my uh, primary drive will not use okay so i'm creating a new folder uh, virtual machines installed and i'm going to uh, install this machine here so hard disk says i'm going to select 100 gb only i don't need more that because it's just for a testing and i'll use a very less um, resources and the vm okay so here you can customize the hardware you have to click the customize hardware option and then uh, i'm going to select as a ram as 4 gb that is enough for me processor i am okay with one core and uh, other things will be same I, I don't need any i don't want to change anything here the only thing is printer which i can remove sound card and uh, usb controller i don't need it i can remove it because that's unnecessary i don't want to install everything there uh, close it uh, you can see the configuration again you can verify it i have select the split option in hard disk which you can see here 4 gb of memory and finish so power on this virtual machine after creation so once it, once it's created uh, the system will start and starting uh, installation will continue so that's how you can use a vmware workstation um, uh, for non-commercial use or for home use for testing for uh, other purpose right non-commercial use so this uh, vm creation will take a lot of time and uh, i'm just closing this uh, video right now because uh, the main purpose of this video is to, to install the VMware free version so that is completed if you want uh, I will show up the further step of creating any OS or any VM uh, in next video thank you so much for watching this video please hit the like button and subscribe the channel